All right, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all one of my favorite no-bake desserts. I bought this angel food cake at the store. It was on sale last night. I bought it, it was $3. If y'all wanna buy, make your own angel food cake, be my guest, but I like doing things that are easy, okay? So all we're gonna do is just cut this up into like cubes, however you'd like, like bite size, okay? Something like that, that's good. They don't have to be perfect, because we're making a dessert. And we all know where dessert goes. It all goes in our belly, all to the same place. So don't have to be perfect, okay? I'm gonna put um, half this, about half of this, right on the bottom of this nine by 13 bacon dish, okay? Yeah, just like that. Actually, let's see. You know what, actually, y'all, we're gonna use it all. This is supposed to be a layered dessert, but we're gonna make it, we're gonna make a one layer dessert, okay? Because that's all we got room for. And this is perfect. So yeah, you just cut up your cake like so. Angel food cake on sale at the store. You can usually get it at night, like the, the one from that day. And it's fine if you're using a day old one, it's so good. All right, next step. I have a cup and a half of milk right here, okay? We're gonna take one package of vanilla pudding, the instant pudding, we're gonna put it in our milk. All right, we're gonna give this a good mix. And we still have one more thing to add here. Mix is real nice, okay. That looks great, y'all. Look how good this looks so far. Yeah, you're like, oh, it don't look that good yet. I think it does. Okay, next step here, we're gonna take some Greek yogurt. We're gonna do about a cup, all right? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna guess about a cup. That's, that looks about good. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. All right, that's great. We're gonna mix this in, y'all. Now the yogurt's gonna make this a little bit thick, but that's okay, that's what we want. We like it, we like it like that, nice and thick. That's a mix good. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna take this and we're gonna pour it on top of our angel food cake, okay? So we're just gonna pour the whole thing on top, like so. Quick, easy, no-bake dessert, everybody loves it and you can customize it too. And like I said, y'all, if you wanna go ahead and make, make an angel food cake, go ahead, be my guest. But I just like to buy it at the store because it's a lot easier, okay? So our next step here, we're gonna take we have a can of cherry pie filling, okay? So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna spread it out right on top of our delicious angel food cake pudding yogurt mixture, okay? And we're just gonna get it on here, kinda even, as even as you can, you know? It's kinda hard to spread, but however you, however you can do it, y'all. And you know what else is good, y'all? In the summer, if there's fresh berries available at the store and they ain't so expensive like they are now, you could do this with fresh fruit too and it's real good, okay? So that looks good, y'all, just like that. I think that's perfect. And again, just if it's spread out pretty good, that's fine. Last step here, we're gonna take some Cool Whip. We're gonna put this right on top, okay? We're gonna do a nice layer of Cool Whip right on top of our uh, mixture here, our store-bought angel food cake, our vanilla pudding and yogurt mixture, and our canned cherries, all right. Let's see, you know, I love Cool Whip, so we're just gonna use the rest of this. This wasn't a full container, by the way, y'all. It was almost full, but not all the way. All right, y'all. So, now, if y'all wanna eat this right now, you can, but it's it's better if you let that pudding set for about an hour. So we're gonna put this in the fridge. So this is great, even if you need to make it the night before for like a kid's baseball game or something. Let's see if you can see any of those layers. I don't know if you can see him, but all right, y'all. So we're gonna put this in the oven. I'm just kidding, we ain't putting this in the oven. We put this in the fridge for about an hour and then we're gonna serve it up, y'all. I'm so excited. So I already have some butter at the bottom of my bacon dish. And all we are gonna do here, this is so great. We're just gonna unroll this dough, oops, like that. That's fine if it breaks apart. Put one here. We're gonna put the rest here, like this. Wait, is that the right way? I think it is. All right. So this is gonna be basically the crust. So I'm about to show y'all the best dessert hack y'all ever gonna see, all right? So two cans of crescent dough, one goes right on the bottom. Next, we have a can of cherry pie filling, all right? And y'all can use whatever kind you'd like. I just, cherry's my favorite, but you can use whatever you'd like. All right, and make sure you get all that good stuff out. It's all this delicious goodness. I'm just gonna spread this out like so. Oh, this is looking so good already. And it's so easy, y'all. Y'all are gonna love this dessert, okay? So next, we're gonna take some cream cheese, and I just cut it up into these little squares, all right? And you can see here, this is almost a whole a whole eight ounce package, but a little bit less, so I just like to use whatever leftovers I have in my fridge before I open something new, but I think this is plenty. So we're just gonna spread these squares out 
like so all around uh, on top of our cherries. And you know what, this is also real good with strawberries, but I, I just, uh, I have the cherries at home, so that's what I'm gonna use today. All right, this is great. This is getting a little sticky here, but that's all right. You know what, it's gonna be worth it. Sticky hands are gonna be worth it. All right, y'all, so we have our cream cheese and our cherries. So next, we're gonna take a little bit of graham cracker crumbs, and we're just gonna sprinkle this right on top of our cherry and cream cheese mixture, okay? Y'all know what I'm making here? I'm making a dessert hack. So far we got cream cheese and graham cracker crumbs. Y'all have to know what I'm making. Y'all have to know. And then we also gonna put a little bit of powdered sugar just right on top of the graham crackers, okay? So this, this dessert hack here, let me get this out. Come on, come on sugar. We don't need a lot. Oh, there we go, that's a big chunk. Oh yeah, we definitely don't need that much y'all. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. There we go and just kind of sprinkle it around like that. Oh, this is looking beautiful. So beautiful. All right, I think that's plenty. So now y'all, all we gonna do here is take our second can of Crescent dough and we gonna open this up. We are gonna try and open it up. Man, sometimes these be giving me a hard time. Okay, here we go, I think I got it. All right, y'all, so this is my dessert hack of cheesecake. It's the simplest, most delicious, easy cheesecake y'all are ever gonna have. And all you need is a few ingredients. You don't gotta mix anything, you just make it all right in your pan, okay? And that's why I love this dish. All right, so now we have our last can of crescent dough here. And another secret, y'all, if y'all are cooking with this crescent dough, I always put it in the freezer for just a few minutes before I use it, just so it's not too soft. So you can just roll this can right on top like so, all right? So we gotta make sure this all fits in the pan. We're gonna crimp all the edges down, crimp them all together, push them down like so. Y'all, I am so excited about this. It's such a good cheesecake hack. Y'all are gonna love this. All right, so our last step here, all we're gonna do is a little egg wash right on top. So I have this egg I just beat up together and we're just gonna brush some egg right on top of our crescent dough, all right, y'all? Just like this. This is gonna help it get nice and crispy and golden brown. You know how those fancy pastries look when you go to the bakery? This is what they do, y'all. That's all you gotta do. A little bit of egg right on top of your dough and it's gonna have that nice, crispy, crust it's gonna look real pretty too and y'all know we eat with our eyes just as much as we eat with our mouth so we want to make sure our food looks pretty and tastes good both are equally important y'all all right so all we're gonna do is put this in the oven at 375 for about 15 minutes and y'all gonna have an amazing cheesecake all right y'all take some of these cookie balls and for this recipe we're using two packages okay i'm using the peanut butter cookie balls I love these. Oh, I can already smell that peanut butter. This is one of my favorite desserts to make, y'all. All right, next. We got Reese's Minis unwrapped. I'm just gonna sprinkle these right on top of our cookie balls. Just like that. All right, y'all, you can use as many as you want, y'all. All right, as many as you want. I'm gonna move these. Mmm, I'm gonna eat one. Oh my goodness. Mmm, I love peanut butter. Okay, y'all, next year. I have a box of brownie mix. So I already, I already made this, but we're just gonna pour our brownie mix right on top of our Reese's and our cookie balls. This is one of my favorite brownie hacks. So we're just using these pre-made peanut butter cookie balls and a box of uh, brownie mix. You just make it according to, to what the box is, okay? Um, and I, I like using the Reese's peanut butter egg cups. I don't know, y'all. Peanut butter and chocolate, those are like my two favorite things. So you can customize this brownie recipe however you'd like, but this is how I like to do it. All right. So we're just gonna spread this out so it's even. And you know what? We have some of those Reese's peanut butter cups. You can see them, but that's okay. That's okay, y'all. Oh my goodness. I smell peanut butter. This is gonna be so good. We can give it a little shake a shake. All right, y'all. So we're almost ready, but we got one more thing. Of course, Reese's Pieces. E.T. Phone Home. Yes. All right, y'all. Look at this right on top of our brownie mix. We got our Reese's peanut butter cups in there and our peanut butter cookies on the bottom. Y'all, this is gonna be one of your new favorite desserts. I'm telling y'all, okay? So we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes and y'all are gonna love my favorite brownies. All right, y'all, we definitely need two cans of cherries here. And today I bought, ooh, that, that gel is flying around. 
Today I bought, I want to try something different. So I bought this Simply Pie Filling where it's a, it's a little bit more natural and healthy. So we're going to try this. We're going to make a delicious take on a cherry pie. Very simple and easy dessert. And y'all just make sure, I always say this, but you make sure you get all that gel out of the cans, okay? Because this is the true heart of any good cherry pie, this gel. Whatever it is, I love it. All right, I'm just gonna, those are good. We're gonna spread that. This is just the easiest way to even it out, just like that. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of cinnamon sugar. I love buying this, it comes already blended. So we're just gonna do this right on top. Little cinnamon sugar, all right? Just a nice little layer. We also gonna take a little bit of uh, sea salt here. I love using this sea salt. I bought it in Mexico, it's so good. There's a little bit right on top. I'm telling y'all, you gotta add sea salt to every dessert. All right, so we are, we are just about ready, y'all. You're gonna love this dessert. So right here I have a can of cinnamon rolls. I just have these cheap ones. They all taste the same to me, but you can use whatever kind you'd like. So we're just gonna open this up. Yep, just like that, y'all. All right, we're gonna get these out of here. Ooh, those looking good. Those are looking so good. All right, y'all. So we're gonna take our cinnamon rolls. We're just gonna put these all the way around, like so, on our pot, okay? Just like this. This is looking so good, y'all. Oh my goodness, I just love this. I'm gonna open up my next can of cinnamon rolls here because we wanna make sure, we, we wanna cover the whole top of this pie with cinnamon rolls, all right? So even if we don't use the whole second can, we are still gonna open them and then we can save them for later. All right, so we're just gonna put these like so. Let me see here. Oh, this is looking so good already, y'all. So good. All right, and you know what we're gonna do here? We're gonna fill in these holes we're just gonna make little mini cinnamon rolls from the big cinnamon roll to fill in the holes, okay? Because we wanna cover the top. This is almost acting as our like crumble pie topping, except it's cinnamon rolls, y'all, all right? Look at that. Little baby cinnamon rolls and big cinnamon rolls. I am so excited. So we're gonna move it like this. We're gonna cover in all these holes because we got extra and we wanna use all of our all of our stuff we have here. We're gonna use it all, okay? We don't wanna waste anything. I'm telling y'all, this is this is one of my favorite desserts ever. Y'all are gonna love this, I'm telling you. All right, let's see how that looks. Let me see here. You know, we got one more, we got two more, but I think I think we're gonna use one more of them, all right, y'all? Covering all these little holes. So we have almost a, almost a complete seal on top of our of our cherries, okay? So this is gonna be, I'm telling you, this is gonna be your new favorite take on cherry pie. My way is the best, I'm telling y'all. Look how pretty this looks already. Don't this look pretty? All right, so now what we gonna do, that looks so beautiful. I am just in awe of the beauty of this dessert. So now we have another step. Right here we have half a stick of melted butter. We have uh, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna put that right in there. We're gonna add a little bit of heavy whipping cream, all right? Right here, just a little bit. I don't know, maybe a couple tablespoons. And then we're also gonna add one of the packages of the icing from the cinnamon rolls, okay? We're just gonna squeeze that right on in here, like so. Yes, y'all. Y'all know what I'm doing with this. I know you do. You've seen this before. I know you have. You're gonna love this dessert, I'm telling you. So now we're just gonna take our fork and we're gonna mix this up. Here we go. All right, look at this. So it's gonna mix real good, real easy because we melted that butter, okay? It's gonna be worth it, I'm telling you. All right, here we go. So we're just gonna drizzle, drizzle right on top of our cinnamon rolls. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be so good. Get this out of here. Make sure we put some on every piece of the roll, okay? Because this is really what's gonna make this dish, right here. This is gonna be so good. And then, we just gonna get up. I'm gonna get this fork here, and we're just gonna dump the rest right on top. Oh my goodness, y'all. 
This is gonna be so good. All right, we're just gonna spread it out a little bit so we have a nice even layer. We gotta get it all out. All right, here we go. I'm gonna spread it out. It don't have to be perfect. Either way, it's gonna turn out good, y'all. I'm telling you, okay? This is looking good. All right, y'all. So, next, all we're gonna do here, we're gonna take a piece of foil. This is, this is crucial. You need the foil for these cinnamon rolls to cook the right way. We're gonna put this on top of our pie. We're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes. Y'all are gonna have your new favorite way to make a homemade cherry pie, all right? All right, y'all. This has been in my fridge for about, I don't know, about three hours. I actually forgot about it, so I just had to take it out now, but um, you wanna let the pudding set. So at this point, you have a few options. You can just serve it like this, or you can put something on top. Now, I think it looks boring like this, so I have this red sugar sprinkles. I'm just gonna put a little bit on top. I've also done like chocolate chips, which I really like, but we're just gonna put a little bit because it's already sweet, but I just think I just think it makes it look pretty, you know? And I like pretty food, y'all. All right, and this is a great no-bake dessert. Remember, we just used that cheap store-bought angel food cake, some vanilla pudding, a little bit of Greek yogurt, and a can of cherry pie filling, y'all. All right, I'm real excited to eat this. Fred, are you excited? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be so good. Wow. This might be like... I'm excited. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It's like a strawberry shortcake. But hold on. I got I to gotta get some of that. I didn't even get enough of the pudding, Fred. Look, there's this pudding right here. This is like the, the pudding and um, what else? Greek yogurt mixture. Yep. Look at how that's set up. That looks so nice. All right, y'all. You know what? It's time to take a bite. Let me get some of this. So we got the cool whip. Let me get some of that pudding. That's what I want. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig in here till I get a nice piece with the pudding and the cherry. Look at all that, y'all. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so good. I'm excited. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Okay. Um. So y'all, I don't I don't often go back for second bites, but this pudding mixed with the Greek yogurt. This is real good, y'all. You gotta try this. I'm telling y'all, this is so good. Enjoy. All right, y'all, here we have our amazing cheesecake hack. The quickest, easiest, most delicious cheesecake y'all are ever gonna have. So you know what? I'm hungry, it's time to cut into this baby. So remember, we just used two cans of crescent dough as the crust, one on the bottom, one on the top, and I greased the pan with butter to start, okay? Inside, we have canned cherries, we have cream cheese, some graham cracker crumbs, and a little bit of powdered sugar. Now remember, I didn't mix the ingredients, I just kind of poured them all in there, so it's really, really easy and it's delicious. And I'm telling y'all, your, your uh, friends and family are gonna love this. It's something I always make. You see that cherry, that cream cheese. I make it for family gatherings, for the block party, for everything, because it's just so good. People always say they love my cheesecake. Little do they know, it's so fast and it's so easy. So I'm just gonna cut up right on into this. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got a little bit of this cream cheese. This is gonna be so good, y'all. I'm so excited to eat this. Here we go. Hot. Mmm. Y'all, this is so good. All right, y'all, look at these brownies. Y'all, I am so excited. Okay, remember, so the bottom of this dish, we started with uh, two packages of those peanut butter cookie balls. You can use whatever kind of cookies you'd like. It's my favorite brownie hack. Then we put some Reese's peanut butter cups on top of that, and then we just made a package of box brownies. Um, y'all, I'm so excited. Okay, look at this. Oh my goodness, these are gonna be the best, chewiest, fudgiest brownies. They're like peanut butter brownies, y'all, okay? So I'm gonna cut a big slice here. Look at how big this slice is I'm cutting. I don't care. I love brownies. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at that. It's falling apart. Hold on, let me get this peanut butter cookie. Oh my goodness, let me get this out here. Whoa, look at that. You can see those peanut butter cookie, those Reese's. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. All right, now you know how you gotta finish this though? Whipped cream. Right on top. And then you know what else we gotta do? We gotta, look at this. I, I'm so excited, y'all. You have no idea. Peanut butter, oh my goodness. I need one of those Reese's too. Give me some of those Reese's. Y'all, I'm so excited. Mm, I'm so excited. Mmm. All right, y'all. So I took this out of the oven about 10 minutes ago, but it's still pretty hot. So we're gonna take a look at this right now, okay? I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, y'all. This looks so good. 
Wow, look at that pie. Look at that pie. All right, so remember, all we have in here, we have a graham cracker pie crust, we have some canned cherries, and then our cinnamon rolls on top. You know what, y'all, I'm hungry. Time to eat some. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. So we're just gonna cut it right over here. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a, a piece from right over here, okay? So remember, we use those, those all natural canned cherries. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at this. Okay, we lost the cinnamon roll, but that's okay. I'm gonna put this right here. We have our delicious graham cracker crust. Get some more of this here, these yummy cherries. And remember, we top these cinnamon rolls with a mixture of brown sugar, heavy cream. And you know what we need? A little bit of this right on top, just a little bit, like so. Look at that dessert, y'all. You know what, I am so excited. I've been eating all day, y'all, but I don't care. This is one of my favorite desserts. I love these cherries. I love cinnamon rolls, and I love whipped cream. I am, this is gonna be so good. Here we go, y'all. It's gonna be hot, too, though. Give me some of that whipped cream. Mm. so good.